It is the stamps one. And what's the cost of selling your soul? <sighs> um, I just think that I know these. Please bring are, Baker Mayfield back. Serious I want Baker back. This guy wants and Baker back so bad. Penalty, there's simple penalties that could be tripping. This guy's clueless. And we're not talking one or two that may be tested. We're talking 24. Seem to be more, we guess. <laughs> Look at that guy. He looks disgusted. I would be asking if I'm in the Cleveland Browns right now is. Hmm? We did our best to improve the quarterback position. We, we bent over backwards. We ran a, a marathon to try to make it better. But is this what we want our team to represent to this community? Is this kind of behavior <laughs> okay? And we'll see what happens in court. Yeah. But that doesn't mean the women are lying. And if you look at nationally, and I... This guy just said on TV, this guy here, we'll see what happens in court, meaning that if Deshaun Watson wins the case, that doesn't mean these women are lying. So in his mind, an African-American man, Deshaun Watson, is guilty. Even if he wins the court, even if he wins in court, he's guilty because these women ain't lying. How do people still think like this in 2022? How do people still... Because Deshaun Watson can't win now. In, in this guy's mind, Deshaun Watson's guilty no matter what. Embarrassing. And then he went on to say that the Browns should cut Deshaun <laughs> This clown wanted the Browns to cut Deshaun Watson because he wants his little Baker Mayfield back. He wants his little Baker Bay so he can live vicariously through him. Um, I'm embarrassed for this guy. And I want to make it clear that we don't think this way. Most people, I, I don't know any people that think this way. I let the juries and the court do its process. So if Deshaun Watson wins the court case, he's guilty in this guy's mind. Because these women ain't lying. He went on to say that the Browns should cut Deshaun Watson. Can you believe that? 14 other teams tried for him. The Browns should cut Deshaun Watson. And an African-American man should never play football again. That's what, that's what people like this clown want. He should never play football again. Just cut him. He should never be allowed to play football again over accusations. This is the problem with America, people. This is the problem. This guy admitted even if he wins in court, it doesn't matter. These women ain't lying. So he should never be allowed to work on a jury again. And this guy better hope the Browns don't cut Deshaun Watson because the fans would blame him. <laughs> the Browns ain't cutting Deshaun Watson. You're not cutting a franchise quarterback. We all know how this is going to play out. Deshaun will win. He'll be vindicated, and everybody will forget about it. That's just what it is. We all know what happened. These women didn't have a problem with Deshaun Watson until some Napoleonic dwarf attorney got involved because Deshaun wanted to leave the Texans, and uh, that's when he got involved. It's awful funny how he wanted to leave the Texans, and this starts happening. It's a class action lawsuit. And this guy here, I'm, I never even heard him before, says he would release him, cover the Browns. I never even heard of the guy, and I've been following the Browns my whole life. But I want everybody to know we don't think people like me don't think like this. Clown. I let the courts do the process. He even tried reading up his statistics. He, I mean, he had them in hand with the statistics, and and he, no one, no one was. He didn't get to read them at first. Then about five minutes later, he read them. And yeah, we know women uh, don't get believed, but we also know women lie too. But not in this guy's mind.